I want to talk about David Pukeman. My, my bad. David Pacman. He a bitch. This is what F the notes. I don't even need to look at the notes. I already know he is a loser, right? And a crybaby. And also he's extremely smug. This nigga is the smuggest dude I've seen on the internet in quite some time, fam. I don't know why he think he better than anybody. He ain't though. And in case you haven't known that and didn't know, he ain't. He, David Pacman ain't better than nobody. In fact, I'd rather play Pacman and talk about him, but do my damn job. So David Pacman, he starts crying over the whole Joe Rogan Trump interview. I haven't finished the full interview yet. I still plan to, but I have watched most of it. And it was better than the Kamala joint. Hey, Kamala did a, a garbage interview. We, we don't talk about that brief. No, we don't talk about that. Kamala did an interview with out there. Uh, what's the name? Club Shay Shay, whatever his Shay Shay. Shay. Um, and she's talking about a whole bunch of nonsense. And I'm sick of people using certain things as if it's like a, a marketing a ploy to get black people to vote for you. You know, Trump, he ain't really responsible for for the, the stipends that was given out or whatever they call them. Shut up. All right. So David Pacman <laughs> crying over the Joe Rogan Trump interview. Right. As you know, he's going to as you know, he's going to. Did he really say anything of importance? Absolutely not. It was just straight up just crybaby stuff. Straight crybaby loser. Just bogus ass crying, right? So he started misrepresenting everything that Trump says, right? If Trump says something small, like I went to the store, you see? You see, he went to the store to go get this. And so he could try to manipulate and he don't know nothing. And he's trying to present Donald Trump as if he's Joe Biden. You know how Biden don't know what the hell is going on? And he just be saying stuff, right? You know how he don't know what's going on. He just be saying whatever. That, that's exactly what type of time he was trying to, trying to, to attempt to make Trump be on, right? Like, oh, look, you don't even understand. He, he said something about Oprah. He said when he was on the last, fam, clearly, he's talking about when before the Oprah show was in and he made an appearance. Like, what are you talking about? Why do you gotta make everything seem like Trump is delusional? He's not, you are a Pac-Man. It's your smug ass sitting there just complaining and crying all day. Man, and he one of the main reasons why oh, people like him are one of the main reasons why I don't really do reactions like that. I'd rather just talk and speak freely. This thing, he just sitting there looking at the screen crying. He barely spoke. And when he did, it sounded like nonsense, like woke doo doo, hot garbage, low quality garbage, right? And that's the same that he's always going to do, right? And I don't mind roasting him. I don't mind cooking him. Why not? Why not? This guy's a bozo, right? And I like roasting woke people because boy, do I get joy out of that. Boy, do I get joy out of it. Hit the like button, guys. Hit the like button in case you haven't already, right? So he's misrepresenting everything that Trump is saying. He also, also, let me move this closer just in case you guys can't hear me because I got a low tone. I wish David Pacman would speak even lower than me. And maybe, maybe he wouldn't sound something. No, he'll still be smug. Because they'll be smart. He starts attacking Trump just even though he's attacking Trump and trying to use Joe Rogan to go after Trump for some reason. He's still going at Joe Rogan, too. And I don't know why I rock with uh, the Rogan Meister. I'm just not I'm not going to call him that. I'm not going to. I rock with Joe Rogan. I don't understand why so many people hate Joe Rogan. Actually, it's kind of strange. It is really strange. Why do so many people hate Joe Rogan? It's because he's willing to hear all sides, right? It's because he's not woke. Is it because Fear Factor ended? Pick something, nigga. Pick a struggle. I don't know. Like, I don't know why they, they're so mad at Joe Rogan. I like Joe Rogan. Even when I disagree with him um, when he's doing commentary for MMA. Sometimes he do be wild and he a little biased from the jujitsu side. But anyway, that's a, that's a whole different whole different topic. We're not, we not talking about that. We, we're not talking about that. How's my audio, guys? How's my sound? I want to make sure so I'm still not used to holding the camera. Right. But he attacks Trump and he's attacking Rogan. And meanwhile, he's still trying to use Rogan to go after Trump. Do you see the conundrum here? This is like just idiocracy. Idiocracy to the fullest. And I don't know why 
why he his feelings are so hurt or just woke people in general why are they feeling so hurt by donald trump like what did trump do to you right not sound like biden not sound like a, a fool well, like i don't i don't get it what did he do to your eyes that made you hate him so bad right it's almost as if you're pushing an agenda it's almost as if you're pushing an agenda fam it's almost as if you have a ulterior motive. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section, right? But yeah, so this smug ass loser, he's sitting there crying about Trump, the usual from these wokies, fam. And he's not making no sense. In fact, the dude made multiple videos about the same thing. He's just stretching it. He probably cut it into like multiple clips and just released it because his woke ass fans are just going to eat it up. Manja, manja. You know, the same ones that cry in my comment section. Just because I had an opinion as if that's going to stop me from talking about David Wackman. I mean, David Pukeman, I'm that loser, nigga. How, how about that? How about that, fam? Don't you get tired of him just bitching? Let's, let's just be real. Let's put the damn notes to the side again. Ain't, don't you just get tired of David Pacman just bitching for no damn reason? Right with these wokies, they just come up with reasons to hate anyone who defines themselves as a conservative or who anyone who even has conservative views. It's just like the end all be all is trying to destroy conservatives or people who are on the right. That's stupid to me, right? Even if you have a different opinion than me, I, I'm not trying to destroy nothing. Okay? I don't care. In all honesty, feel how you feel. As long as you're not harming anyone. I got no smoke or no beef. I will clown you though, but that that's just as simple as that, right? It's not, nothing that's that serious. Nothing at all, man. Nothing that damn serious, right? But for David Pacman, like I said before, it's the end all be all, and his fans are extremely woke. I actually like clowning his supporters in my comment section that come and try to hate on me. And if you're my supporter, you might enjoy it too. I wanna see it, I wanna laugh. I'll be looking for it. I'll be, I'll be looking for it. Chris, you be cooking them in the comment section. Shout outs to you. You be cooking them. I like seeing that. I like seeing that, man. Roast the hell out of these people. Right? These guys are just clowns and you should not take them seriously. Right? It's nothing to sweat. It's nothing to like even get frustrated over. I know they could say something so ignorant that could make you like dislike them or whatever. Cool. Didn't, didn't like him. Just don't stress over it, right? That's my main thing. Don't stress over it. Somebody said they like uh David. I don't care. <laughs> like what you like. But yeah, overall, I think David Pagman, this crying video, I was going to go and break down all of them on one, but I'm like, Let me just, I could watch every video and tell you what it's about. Nothing. Go and uh, check out my other videos. Hit the like button. Also, check me out on Patreon if you can, man. I would appreciate the support, man. It actually goes to me doing a lot of great stuff, man. So go and check that out.